Hello, this is Mighty Owl. You've spent a good amount of time becoming a master of multiplication. I'm now going to show you how your knowledge of multiplication can help you with division. So, let's review first. Division is a large amount that is being split up into equal groups. And multiplication is groups that are being combined. I'll show you how those two are related, starting with some multiplication problems. You have four bags of five marbles. How many marbles do you have in total? Let's create an array. You would have four groups, or rows. Each row would have five marbles. Now multiply four times five. Perfect! You've just found out that there are a total of 20 marbles. Now, what if four people wanted to share those marbles? That's easy. Your marbles are already in four separate bags. This means each person would get the five marbles in their bag. But what would happen if another friend would like marbles too? This means that we need to have five groups. No problem. Instead of each person getting five marbles, you can give each person four marbles in this case. Don't lose your marbles. We have some more practice coming. Let's look at the relationship between division and multiplication another way. If you have 12 pieces of chocolate that you want to share between three people, how many pieces can each person have? Let's start by looking at this as a division problem. 12 divided by 3 is what? If you want to look at it as a multiplication problem, you can think of 3 times what is 12. Well, 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. That must mean that 12 divided by 3 is 4. How cool is that? Well, what if I wanted some chocolate too? Now there are 4 people who want to share the 12 pieces. This creates the equation 12 divided by 4. You can also think 4 times what is equal to 12. You just did that. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Each person can have 3 pieces of delicious chocolate. Let's practice division with marbles some more. There are 40 marbles, and you need to put them equally into 5 bags. How many marbles will be in each bag? This division equation is 40 divided by 5. Okay, you can also think 5 times what is equal to 40. Either way, you will find the answer is 8. Each of the bags will have 8 marbles in them. Alright, it's building time! There are 30 blocks in a pile. 5 children would like to use the blocks to build a tower. If the pile is split evenly, how many blocks can each child get? You can create the division equation 30 divided by 5, or you can think 5 times what is 30. Whichever way you thought about the problem, you found that the answer is 6. Each child will have 6 blocks to build with. Let's try another problem. It's Mark's birthday party in a couple of days, and he's preparing some gift bags for his friends. Let's help him with that. He wants to put stickers in the gift bags. He has 80 stickers to put in 20 gift bags. How many stickers will each party guest receive? The division problem this creates is 80 divided by 20. Those are bigger numbers. You can try thinking of 20 multiplied by what number is 80? 20 multiplied by 4 is equal to 80. Each gift bag will have 4 stickers in it. Let's try another problem. While visiting a pet shop, you stop to look at the fish. You notice that there is a large tank with 55 fish in it. You see five empty tanks that the fish will be divided into. This means that we will need to divide. The problem that we can start with is division. 55 divided by 5. We can think about this as multiplication too. What times 5 is 55? 11. Each of the tanks will have 11 fish. They look more comfortable now. Do you see how multiplication and division are so closely related? Division is splitting up a large group into smaller groups. Multiplication is combining groups to make a large group. Great job so far! 
Join me for more math strategies in the next video lesson.